Leaders and local government stakeholders in Chigetsu subregion have expressed concern over the centralization of public procurement and the awarding of contracts, emphasizing the need for decentralization to enable local governments to better execute their work, supervise projects effectively, and prioritize social and economic development in their areas. This sentiment was voiced yesterday during the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Assets Authority, PPDA Appeals Tribunal Stakeholders Engagement Workshop at Cephas Inn in Kabale. The event was themed the new developments in procurement law and practice. Kabale Resident District Commissioner Godfrey Nyakauma highlighted that the centralization of procurement and awarding of contracts has been a major cause of stalled projects at the local government level. He stressed that the limited and lack of local supervision has often resulted in shoddy and delayed works. This country has got a decentralization policy with fully fledged governments, fully fledged governments. You give a project, a project is given to a district but you want the procurement to be taken from Kampala. And when your people come from Kampala, having been given the projects, they don't want to be supervised by the district. Because they have got pro they have, they are projects from Kampala. I mean, they are, they are gender from Kampala. And when they come here, what do they do? It's a disaster. It's a total disaster. Wilfred Darinda, the male youth councillor for Rwanda District, who also represented District Chairperson Stephen Apede Kasiaba, echoed similar concerns. He pointed out that districts have unique priorities and benefit significantly from different supervision of projects, which is hindered by centralized procurement processes. There are some instances where government uh, gives contracts to some contractors from Kambara to implement projects which are in our local, rural local governments. Now, such a project, most times they, they carry very big sums of money. They are very big projects. But the problem is these contractors pay a lot of allegiance, most of the allegiance, to the people who give them contracts in Kampara. Yet we, we the local politicians, the local leaders, in lower local governments are the ones to, to, to do most of the supervision. You see, when someone does, someone does not respect you, it means you cannot supervise that person. This is what exactly happens, and we, we ask government to consider bringing those con contracts, those resources, to lower local governments. Addressing the audience, Francis Frank Kiwa, the manager legal at the PPDA Appeals Tribunal, expressed the concept of hybrid procurement where responsibilities shared between the relevant ministry and local authorities depending on the sector. The hybrid procurement is a collaboration between either the responsible ministry, many especially at times it is the Ministry of Land and Housing and Urban Development, or it is uh, the Ministry of Local Government or means of education, depending on the specific sector. But normally hybrid procurements are procurements where the procurement is, uh, is, co the, the procurement is conducted by the, uh, by the ministry, uh, although the beneficiary is the local government. Now, um, the, the key thing is that, number one, you need, they needed to encourage the local bidders to participate, the local bidders within the region to participate in such procurements. Uh, if they have the relevant experience and the qualifications. He encouraged local bidders to actively participate in procurement opportunities in their regions. Kiwa also advised stakeholders to adhere strictly to the evaluation process of bidders, warning that failure to follow due procedures often results in complaints being filed with the tribunal. Person who thinks that they, or who alleges that there has been a breach of the law, a breach of the act, or a breach of the bidding document may file an application before the tribunal, that is, if they are dissatisfied with the decision of the accounting officer or if they, believe, if, they, if they wrote a complaint to the accounting officer and the accounting officer has not responded to the complaint, such a person can come to the tribunal. And also any other person who is not a bidder but who feels aggrieved by a decision of an accounting officer can file a complaint to the tribunal and the tribunal will be able to look into the application and render a decision. We also render our decisions within 15 days from the date we file your application. 
Common grievances include conflicts of interest by accounting officers, dissatisfaction with administrative review decisions, and lack of communication with bidders. Such disputes are may lead to cancellation of contracts or the entire procurement process. The Stakeholders Engagement Workshop served as a platform to address these challenges and advocate for reforms that will streamline procurement processes, ensuring transparency, accountability, and improved service delivery at the local government level. Compiled by Mara Mishimwe and Nobadiamhachi for Chigezi Television.